Remember when you're trimming hooves that not all animals are the same. Every sheep is going to have a different hoof based on their bone structure or their reactions to the environment they're in. So make sure when you're trimming, you really take a look at the individual animal's hooves and only trim what needs to be trimmed. Trimming too much can lead to lameness in your animals. So flipping sheep is a really great way to hold them still for hoof trimming, shearing, or really any procedure you need to do to them. While you're pushing their face away from you, you're gonna push their hip down and towards you. Once they're on their rump, you're going to shift them so that their weight is on one of their hips and not on their dock to, to improve the comfort for the lamb or the sheep. Feet are very important to the animal. They need to be able to walk to get feed, get water, and really to live their life. So it's important to keep their hooves trimmed and in good shape to make sure that they can continue walking and doing what they need to do. Now their hoof shape, hoof density can change with a lot of things. Generally, if you're in a wetter season, their hooves will be softer and easier to trim or more malleable. So when you're trimming hooves, you'll start by picking out any mud or manure that may be stuck in there. I think that's not much. Just keep it, give it a good flick out. Make sure you're not getting any debris in the trimming. You're gonna start with the toes and just take off a little bit at a time. You can always cut more off, but you can't put more back on. Once the toes are in good shape, you can work on the outside claw. Now there's gonna be a little fold. You don't wanna cut it completely off. But you want to cut it back just enough so that their hoof lays flat. You'll do that on both sides. So that the hoof sits flatly on the ground. You'll then work on the inside claws. In this case, this lamb doesn't need a lot of trimming on the insides. Again, just kind of take the tips off, take off some of the excess growth there so that their foot stands flat. So when you're done trimming, or even really before you start trimming, take a look at the feet. A well-trimmed hoof should have an angle of about 55 degrees with the ground. And we're looking at this hoof bone here. In the back leg, you'd be looking for an angle of about 50 degrees, just a little bit flattered because of the anatomy of the back leg. Once all four feet are trimmed, they should all sit nicely flat on the ground with the appropriate angle and the animal should be able to walk naturally. For more information about hoof trimming your sheep, contact the Agriculture Knowledge Centre.